yeah what's up guys uh good day so my name is uh koi phillips and today i'm going to be showing you how to fix uh the the common error of uh url not found in champ you know when you're looking using a local host to uh, do some WordPress development on your, on your laptop, you can run into some trouble. I, I make uh, a previous uh, post, I mean, a previous video on that. And uh, I think I need to like run it from the beginning so that we can actually get to see the loophole there and, uh, you know, avoid. This, this is actually very easy to fix, but I want to like go over it again so that we know, you don't just know how to fix it. We know the source of uh, the problem. So if, if you are using a local host, uh, Jump uh, Apache, uh, you can run into so many problems uh, during the course of setting it up. And one of those problems is, uh, you know, after uh, installing your, your WordPress and putting the folder in the htdocs uh, folder, <clears throat> you can uh, have troubles accessing, you know, your, your your wordpress dashboard so how do you fix this how do you fix this so quickly you know what what you want to do is you know after uh installing your jump and launching it you want to come to the ht docs like we have here so i'm on the ht docs now so i want to click in and you know all of the uh, files that you have here you just uh, i like all of them you know this is ctrl a for selecting everything then you delete you know we know all of this so what you come to do is uh, get to your wordpress copy the wordpress file i'm copying it this is ctrl c or you can just uh, click on it and you know do copy so you come to your htdocs folder then you paste it here now i just uh control v it and you can just just right click and uh paste you know so I'm just going to wait for it to to load up. I'm sorry, my system is a bit slow. I'm using a 4 gb RAM PC for this uh uh for this for this video. So it might be a little bit slow. But just bear with me. All right. So the problem really, uh, from what I've found out after so many attempts, the problem really is. Uh, we tend to uh, forget that we are using a different URL folder for copying and pasting files. And, you know, when, when you don't really specify the folder with, uh, you know, okay, uh, okay, yeah, I'm done pasting it. All right, so you want to you want to click in and copy everything that is here and cut it. And you want to come back to WordPress here to htdocs and you want to, you know, paste this, paste this. And you want to, you know, WordPress, there's nothing inside this folder again, so you can just get rid of it, delete it. Now that you have all of your files inside the htdocs, so you, don't, you want to come to your, uh, Champ, you want to refresh this? All right. So this is the problem that we usually run into at uh, the uh, 404 not found error. The requested URL was not found on this server. So the problem really is you are using. Look at this URL here. It says localhost slash dashboard. So this this dashboard here is meant to be another folder inside this localhost. But whereas what you simply just did was copy the HTL, uh, the, the, the WordPress folders into the htdoc folder. So you don't have, inside this htdocs, by the URL that you have here, you're supposed to have another another uh, folder titled dashboard. But inside this htdocs, you don't have any other folder titled dashboard. So if you had another folder titled dashboard, then, then your, your system can just your server can just read that directly, but you don't have it. So what you want to do to access this, there are two fixes for it. And 
you know, frankly, they are the same thing. So there are, there are three things you can do. You can delete uh, the dashboard that you found here. You can delete it and just have your local host. If you, if you just have your local host and you click enter, then your problem can be solved easily. As I'm going to see from here. So this problem is going to be solved. You can see very, very easy fix. Very, very easy fix. Very easy fix. Or uh, some people ask you to create a different folder inside this uh, htdocs folder. You can name it whatever you want. So I'm just going to name it uh, uh, maybe dashboard. Okay. And what I want to do now is copy all of the other files except for the dashboard uh, file that I just created. So you want to like move all of these uh, files inside. <laughs> now what you can do to access your WordPress is put dashboard okay, because you now have a folder called dashboard inside your HD docs. So you still uh, gonna do the same thing, you know, that's just it. That's just it. So I, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't want to get technical about the terms and stuff. So that was why I, I have explained it in layman's language so that everybody can understand. All right. Uh, my name is Koye Phillips once again, and I am happy to help. So if there's any other problem, just reach out to me and, uh, I'm going to be making, uh, you know, series of videos about fixing issues with WordPress and stuff. So, but if there is any particular problem that you want solved, reach out to me and um, I'll help you. Thank you.